Hi, everybody. Welcome to another daily devotion. I'm glad to join with you today. This devotion is for Wednesday, the 23rd of September, 2020. And today I'm going to read from Matthew's Gospel. This is Matthew chapter 18. It's uh, just a short five verses, but one of my personal favorite passages in the Bible. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and they asked, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a child whom he put among them and said, truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. What a powerful and touching moment this is in the education of the followers of Jesus. The grown-ups are concerned about who's the greatest. Isn't that just typical? Our fully developed egos want to be sure that we're recognized and have an appropriate stature vis-a-vis -vis our fellows. But Jesus turns the whole situation upside down. He calls a child. Come here, child, and puts that child right in the middle of the circle, surrounded by the disciples. Jesus says, you, unless you change and become like a little child, not only will you not be greatest, I'm paraphrasing, but you won't even enter. The kingdom of heaven. The greatest in the kingdom of heaven, Jesus says, is like this child, humble. Whoever welcomes such a one welcomes me. Change to be like a child. How can you do that when we are all grown up? when we've had a lifetime of experience? Well, I think one of the things that we can do is consider what the child's attitude towards life and learning is all about. In this teaching moment, Jesus tells his followers, and by extension, you and me, that a childlike faith is a faith that doesn't already know it all. A childlike faith is a faith that is open and eager to learn, willing to grow, has not already reached all of its conclusions, but is ready to be excited and surprised by new things that occur in the world around and Incur, occur in the relationship with God. That's the lesson that Jesus has for us, his grown-up followers, that we need to be open, humble, ready to learn, ready to grow, not thinking we have all the answers, but eager to make new discoveries and to be discovered in new ways ourselves. Let's pray. Our God, we thank you that the possibility of change is always open to us, that we can, by your grace, recover our childlike faith. We pray that you will help us to open our minds, to be ready to learn, to be eager for new discoveries this day as we grow in our relationship with you, our elder brother and gracious father. 
Amen. Thanks for joining me for this little devotion today. I'm glad to be with you for these devotions, and I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. God bless you until then.